This is a little example, like when you want to show off your amazing JSON manipulation skills, uh, you can use um, kubectl nodes o json and then use a tool like JQ. Out of curiosity, who knows JQ already? Uh, yeah, that's a bunch of people. So for the other half, you're going to learn uh, a cool thing today. I mean, I hope. JQ is um, the Swiss Army knife of JSON manipulation. Uh, so you can use it to extract uh, information from a JSON thing. So for instance, if I have uh, here get node node one dash o JSON, and then I can do pipe JQ dot status, it's going to extract the field status from the JSON output. Now if I want to extract node info, I can put like dot status dot node info. And now I get just node info. Now if I want to get like the kernel version, I just add dot kernel version and I get the kernel version. Um, so this, this is super useful. Like if you, if you're, for instance, communicating with an API with curl and you get some JSON and you want to manipulate that in a script, uh, super convenient. And so we can use that, uh, for instance, now if I say, okay, give me all the nodes. Um, and then since the, the, the result is going to be a list with all the elements in a field called items, so I can say, okay, get me the items, like this. And now this is giving me all the kernel versions on my cluster. So imagine I have a big cluster and I'm, I'm kind of wondering, okay, um, how many... Um, like what, what's the mix of kernel versions I have on my cluster? I could run something like that and it would tell me you have four nodes with that kernel version. In that case, it's not super exciting, but if I had a 100 clusters and I had like 20 of them with that kernel version and 30 with that other kernel version, just that command will tell me like a very, in a really easy uh, way to, to read like the, the, the mix of versions I have and how many nodes uh, have which version.